because I need to deal with that and I'm just a little bit down. We left last Wednesday and I have to admit that it's a bit of a hard time but today I'm going to share with you what was revealed to me what kind of fears I live in actually still believe it or not so when you're at home you've got your pantry you've got loads of food you've got ahead what you're going to cook uh, you've got your heater you've got your toilet water and everything in the camper you've got everything what you need what you need you need to just be cautious and you have to have everything in your head what is going to happen and for me it revealed how many fears I live in still so fear number one when we are not in the paying uh, campsite where we actually have all the facilities and etc at night I cannot sleep properly because I am still scared like from um, this kind of a, a point of view that somebody may come and somebody may tell me uh, to leave which we are taking the car parks according to the app where it's safe to park but it's in my head you see communism did it to me fear number two uh, we have a fridge unfortunately the fridge is not working uh, the renting company has been trying to help us but so uh, cut it short we've got food but i need to be even more cautious and thoughtful how to cook so constantly in my mind i was like are we going to have enough now you do not have storage for that so is one loaf or two loaves am i able to put it somewhere constant thinking and it cr creates the fear like when we eat half of the loaf i start panicking like oh my gosh only half a load of bread so i'm trying to relax that every time when we need something um, I will ask for it and we will appear somewhere like it happened yesterday when we happened to park by the Lidl. Fear number three is the water, toilet and gas bottle. <clears throat> Even we have all the indicators and we can see how we are doing with electricity, with water and etc. What happened last night? Our toilet tank filled up. So. It's a big problem because there is nowhere to empty it and there is nowhere to go for the toilet so now i have to like unwind my mind from these fears and it was a big revelation for all of us i would say in what kind of safety we live but probably that fear is still there because we tend to shop more than needed we tend to overheat our homes because it might get cold and etc um, then we uh, as a result we throw a lot of uh, food out we then op uh, open our windows because we feel hot uh, we have plenty of water at home so water is not a problem even we pay for it but here in the camper you've got 110 liters and you've got to do that so i was uh shocked what or how many fears i actually have had in my head and this is what traveling completely revealed so i just wanted to share with you that uh today for me is a very hard day uh, because I need to deal with that and I'm just a little bit down.